a controversial website, recently announced plans to open up a nightclub in LA in early 2017 that makes explicit what was once implicit in front door policies before getting the go ahead to enter. Some guests are going to reportedly have to go in front of a panel of judges to determine if they're attractive enough. The website is called beautifulpeople.com. Its managing director, Greg Hodge, is now joining us on the phone. Uh, Greg, I just have to ask you, what makes you think this would be a success and, and why do it? Well, look, I mean, we have to look at the concept of Beautiful People, the dating site, why it was founded. Beautiful People was founded on a very basic principle of human nature. And that is that we all, at least initially and romantically, want to be with someone we find attractive. So that was a very, it's, it's Darwinism, it's millions of years of evolution. And in order to create this community of attractive people, because obviously beauty is subjective, beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder, we democratize the process. So essentially how the concept works is you put up a picture and some profile information, and then you're voted on over a 48 hour period by existing members of the opposite sex. And if you get a majority of positive votes, you're accepted. Otherwise, you're showing the door. And it's been hugely successful. We're just taking that ethos, that concept, offline and into the real world. It obviously seems very superficial to us, at yeah, least to me. Yeah, it, it, it does. And, and also very elitist. And you know, you've got to post your picture. And of course, everybody's going to get their best picture, which you're going to Photoshop anyways. So. So, I mean, you know, and I. I I don't want to be offensive, but I, in my opinion, this represents everything that's wrong with how we're telling young ladies to judge themselves. And, you know, beauty comes in all colors, shapes, sizes, and yes. we have to, like, I just, I don't, I don't get it. I, and it's not, and beauty is not just about one photo that they've, they've posted. Right, right, or how they look on that day. Greg, I, I, I do want to give you a chance to respond, because I think the three of us are all pretty much in agreement here. I'm not saying I wouldn't go, but... <laughs> I'm not saying I wouldn't roll with you just to check it out, but... <laughs> so, so you raise all a few points, and, and uh, Dr. Chavez, I'll start with you. Look, we always get this knee-jerk reaction of this is shallow. It's not, I mean, you, you don't walk into a bar or social situation and look across the room and say, look at that man or that woman's beautiful soul. Maybe in an ideal world, but the reality yeah. is life's just not like that. You're not considered shallow to be with an attractive person or to actively seek to be with someone that you're attracted to. And as far as, as beauty, I mean, beauty is, we celebrate beauty in all its diversity. We're open to every race, color, creed, religion. We're in 120 countries around the world. People always try to see the devil in the painting here, and I can assure you there is none. As for the, the, you know, the connotation of it being discriminatory, no, it's not. It's exclusive. Communities need to be exclusive to serve the purpose of the community. And I think if people, you know, behind closed doors, I think people do realize that we judge people all the time for right or wrong reasons. Attractive people get lighter prison sentences. They, get, they move up the corporate ladder quicker. And you know, this stuff might not give us a warm, fuzzy feeling inside, but it's just the reality of society. Well, what, so. well I think you're, you're acknowledging a lot of realities. And so, you know, when you, when you do, though, have this concept of beauty police, and if a member brings a guest and they can either be <laughs> shot down or not, the one thing I would say is, you know, maybe there is some validity to this for one reason, which is, this is definitely a place I would never want to hang out with, because I, I, or hang out at, because, that person who goes there is not someone I would ever want to talk to, honestly, because right. you immediately, right. just to even apply, Greg, you would have to be so, quite frankly, full of yourself and arrogant and... So may, may I ask, with the beauty police, because you are going to crush lots and lots of yes. hopes and dreams, so the beauty police, do they have any type of formal training to say this is what beauty looks like in this like culture, in this contest. culture, in this culture? Like, how are they determining who's beautiful and who's not? The beauty police is, is, a, is, a, is a term coined by the media, not by us. Like any bar, I mean, you consider this, any leading bar in any of the star capitals in the world, they all have people screening the door. Now, we have... We, the term beauty police was coined many years ago by the media referring to the events we host all over the world because what we do do is we have a door screener there who has a picture of the member from the website that's coming to the event and their job is to make sure that the member looks like they've represented themselves online.